All right, so now in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to import your 2D pattern that you drafted into the 3D software. So hopefully by now you watched my previous video about how to prepare your 2D pattern so that's 3D ready. I kind of compared it to simplifying like an illustrator when we draw an illustrator, sometimes we um, save the AI file, but then we also make a copy of a more simple file like a JPEG or something. That's what we kind of did with this pattern already. We just got rid of some of the more, um, I don't know, I guess um, memory intensive details of it. Um, so this guy, he's all cleaned up, he's ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to eFit, run eFit, and this just opens up the 3D software for us. So we just get to sit here and wait while it opens up. Okay. And again, because our pattern is 3D ready, we made sure our pattern pieces um, had a material name, ours is self. And as long as you did that, a little, uh, yeah, a little, I'll show you, show you later, just make sure that happens, but a box is gonna pop up asking us for fabric. Okay, the 3D is opened um, and nothing's happening. So to get started, I'm going to import a model. I can either click this load model button or if I'd rather, I can go up to the model toolbar, import model. You can see load model comes up too. It's the same, it's the same link. It takes you to the same place. So whether I click it here or that folder, this window pops up. Okay, so Tugatech is extremely organized with folders. By now, hopefully you have their folders kind of memorized. Um, C drive, Tuka data, eFit data, and then models, and there's lots of different models. The computer I'm on only has um, let's see, two, I'm gonna click models right now. It only has two models, but the computer you guys are on should have like almost 10. It has like children, it has um, different fit models, like six different body types, and I printed out a measurement chart for you guys so you can choose which fit model you wanna use for this project. Um, but I'm gonna choose Lysol, <laughs> since I don't have as many choices. And I'm just going to do 3 O, and then um, choose a file that ends in EFM and say open. Okay, so it kind of does this checkerboard thing. That's pretty normal. I'm just going to click and drag this little thing and it should go away. That's fine. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to my 2D file, to good design. Okay, and I'm going to go back up to eFit. I already hit run eFit. This is my first time putting it in the program. So I'm gonna choose add. And it should be in my 3D software. It's kind of blinking, so let's click on that guy. Okay, great, and here's that window that pops up where we get to choose our fabric. Um, so we have our dress. So again, I don't know what you guys were thinking when we were designing this. Were you thinking, is it jersey fabric? Were you thinking, is it more of a stiff woven? Um, it was it, maybe it's denim, kind of a stiff denim. You know what, this is where I'm kind of letting you guys design a little. And I think it'd be fun to see um, different fabrics from different students. I picked denim, let's go for a denim dress. Why not? Um, Okay, well, there we are. So I have my pattern. It's in 3D. I have my model. Um, I am ready to go on to the next step. So this really concludes the video of how to import your 2D pattern that you drafted into the 3D software.